skin, things need to be pulled out and drawn out, right? Like the magnet, could we pull the things out? And then nutrients have to be absorbed and pushed in. Could we use the negative ions to push things in? It's a good question, right? I mean, it'd be really cool if it worked. So they came up with a device, an ionic device, that does exactly that. And they did clinical trials, voila, it worked. So here's what happened. So you got your skin, okay? Maybe you got a little wrinkles. Maybe you got some pores, they're a little clogged. Some hair. Okay, so there's your skin, right? And there's your barrier underneath your epidermis. So here's your epidermis. And there's your barrier that keeps things out, keeps things in. Thank God for that. Then you got your dermis here. And maybe you have some uh, capillaries, some cells, what have you. Then you have your hypodermis, which is under that. And you probably have some lip circulation going on in here. Um, some blood flow. Got some fatty cells. And then under there is your subcutaneous skin. Okay or whatever. So what they found in this device with negative and positive ions is that they were able to, here's the device, when they use negative ions and they put some skin product on your skin, let's say a nutrient like vitamin C, what they found is the negative ions penetrated that vitamin C 37% more than hand massage alone. That's pretty cool. And then what they found is with this device, when they put positive ions on the skin, that it pulled debris and sebum out, liquefied whiteheads, and unstuck the sticky stuff that holds dead skin cells together. So this is ion to ferrisis process of changing around ions, and that's what they did. Very safe, very effective. But what we wanted to do is, how can we get this to have an effectiveness down here? It is really hard to break this barrier right here. Nothing goes through that barrier. But that's where a lot of this stuff starts. That's where your dark spots of imbalance of melanin starts regeneration of skin cells. How is the skin cell going to be regenerated? Is it going to be a healthy skin cell that replaces the old cell? Everything happens under here first before it finally shows its effect up there. So how can we get it down here? That's where the sonopheresis comes in. This is the combination of two things that enhance each other. Sonopheresis is simply this, ultrasound, on a, on a certain wavelength. It's not ultrasonic. Ultrasonic, all the word ultrasonic means is vibrate. Have you heard of an ultrasonic toothbrush? Mm -hmm. Okay, all it does, it's a vibrating toothbrush. The, um, the Clarisonic. Anybody use the Clarisonic? Okay, it's a vibrating brush. That's all that sonic means is that it vibrates. It doesn't have ultrasound waves in it or anything like that. Sonoferous is this ultrasound waves. So, it's just like ultrasound you would get if you go to the doctor, only it's a little higher frequency. It's actually the sound wave that dolphins talk to each other in that's inaudible by human ears. But it's a sound wave and it penetrates. What we found is when we combine the ultrasound with the positive and negative charged ions, it's like this. The ultrasound penetrates and it finds the negative ion and it says, hey, what are you doing? Oh, you pushing something? Here, let me help you. That's what it does. And if it finds a positive ion, it says, hey, what are you doing? Oh, you pulling something? Here, let me help you. And that's what ultrasound does with negative and positive ions. It helps it. So now we got negative ions going deeper and positive ions pulling from deeper. Now we have a real professional device. So anyway, this is our device. What's really great about it is that it's wireless, it's handheld, and if you have a small treatment room, um, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it holds a charge for a long time, and don't let the size fool you. It is very powerful, and it's got six settings on it, and each of these six settings have been engineered specifically for a skin condition, because we've found that 
if you pulsate the ultrasound with certain negative or positive ions, it has a different effect upon wrinkles. Or if you do it this way, it has a different effect upon whitening. Now, it took us three years to find these different variations, but they're all for different reasons. So we have a cleansing setting that's all positive ions. We have a massage setting that's a combination of both. We have a nutrient setting, which is the opposite of the cleansing setting. It's all negative ions because it pushes the products that you have on the skin into the skin. You need product with this device. The lifting setting, the whitening setting, and the wrinkle care setting. Now, what's interesting about frequency is that they're inaudible to the human ear. You can't see them, can't feel them, can't taste them, can't smell them. And so when you use this on your client, they're going to wonder, how is it working? I don't feel anything. I don't see anything. It's almost like we wanted to put a vibrator in there just so that they would think it's working. This is called an oscilloscope. It's a little machine that measures frequency. So I want to show you the frequency and what's going on in here because, you know, picture you see it. paints a thousand words. Can everybody see it? You've got to hold it correctly. There's sensors on the side. And you have to hold the sensors when you apply this to the face because you have to close the circuit. And I'm going to explain more about that later. So I'm going to put this probe on here. And that basically shows you ultrasonic waves with positive ions. Now I'm going to change the setting and watch it close. So that's the cleansing setting. Okay, now I'm going to go to the massage setting. <coughs> See how it goes back and forth? Positive and negative ions. This is combination great. of both for the healthy regeneration of skin cells underneath the epidermis. Now I'm going to go to the nutrient setting. Now it's completely opposite from the cleansing setting. It's all negative ions instead of positive ions. Now I'm going to go to the lifting setting, which is a really magical setting, and you're going to watch it pulsate. And we have found that this particular setting, when it pulsates like that, and you use the device in an upward motion, actually lifts the skin, the sag of the nasal labial folds and things like that. Now I'm going to go to the whitening setting, completely different, and the wrinkle setting, which is absolutely craziness. Interesting, huh? Okay, now, the reason I did not want to get involved in the science of these kinds of things and gadgets until I finally researched what it really could do is because I was kind of turned off to little go-go gadgets that were on the market that I'm going to show you on step one what it does to your skin. And here's step two. Nothing? Nothing. And here's step three. So that's really sad. Another very um, horrible disadvantage in professional business, and that is the fact that these heads come off. It has two little sensors, which is probably why you don't get a reading. Um, if you get gel on there or humidity at all, um, even if it did work, um, that would kill it right there. And you know how we are in the treatment room. We kind of get a little crazy with our products. So if you, if you are interested in um, applying some of these really cool electronic devices in facial skin care or even before makeup application because let me tell you if you get a bride and you're gonna do her makeup and you want to set her makeup really nice she's gonna come out looking luminous when you use this first before you apply the makeup but you always want to make sure that your any any machine ultrasound galvanic whatever is all properly sealed. I have seen machines, I have seen the dermoscope machine get ruined because the gel gets up in there. It's got to be sealed. Oh yeah, spray. Like don't drop it in the bathtub. But, but spray. <laughs> spray alcohol, disinfect it. This is wholesale for 160 so that's what you would buy it for and then you retail it if you want to sell it to the end consumer for 289